I, you know, I thank God we're independent Baptists. I thank God we're not a part of a denomination. But listen, independent Baptists are going downhill real fast. And it breaks my heart. And I am disturbed greatly at what I am seeing coming from Baptist churches and what is being taught in churches. And I, I plan, I was gone all week. I planned this message at the beginning of the week, but I, I can't even tell you all the experiences I had this week. Even when I was just out soul winning, that was like, man, I'm glad I'm preaching on this, this Sunday, because I need to get some of this stuff off my chest. And one of the things I saw my wife, she, uh, she follows this, uh, on Twitter. Those of you who are familiar with Twitter, uh, an account called theology without apology and Theology Without Apology, they did a tweet. And if you don't know what a tweet is, I, I don't have time to catch up on you know modern lingo. But they did a tweet saying, telling people to repent of their sins in order to be saved leads to work salvation and pharisaicalism. And you know what? The only thing I slightly disagree with in that statement is they said it leads to. I say it is. I have, and I do, I agree with them. I'm glad they said that. It's a great tweet, right? Well, you wouldn't believe the response that they got. And I don't know who these people are. I, mean, I think some of them are pastors. But listen to the response they get from a bunch of so-called Baptists. Matt Cook, he said, I've been on your side up until now. Acts 2.38 says, repent for the remission of sins. It's not a work, it's a commandment to do right. Well, listen, Matt Cook. Acts 2.38 says, repent for the remission of sins. But what does repent mean? You see, people today, they've changed the definition of repent. Now, they know most of the time you see the word repent in the Bible, it's God repenting. But they somehow have attached a definition saying to repent means to repent of your sins, even though that statement is nowhere in the Bible. Okay, you come show me where it says repent of your sins in the Bible, all right? It's not there. You will not see that phrase, yet it's repeated over and over again. But it always says, it often says, you know, it repented the Lord that he made man. What was it saying? God had changed his mind. And what do we teach that a person needs to do to get saved is believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. We have to trust in him. We've got to change our minds about following after works for salvation, which is what most people are doing and say, you know what? It's not about my works. I, I've changed my mind. I believe in him. That's what repentance is. It's a change of mind. And there are no works involved. But somehow Matt Cook doesn't know that. Sammy K. Jr. said he's speaking to the Jews there about the kingdom, not a Gentile there unless a proselyte. Don't mix kingdom message and grace. Now, you might not know where he's going with that, but there is a teaching out there that there are multiple gospels, that Jesus preached the gospel, the kingdom, and Paul preached the gospel, the grace of God, and they are different gospels. You know what? The Bible says if anybody teach that, let him be accursed. And you know what, Sammy K., you can be accursed. That is wicked. Jesus taught the same gospel that Paul taught. It, it, you, there is not a different gospel for the Jews and for the Gentiles. There is no difference between Jew nor Greek. I, I can't believe this, folks. This is getting out of control. I mean, this stuff, this, you know, this dispensational salvation teaching, I mean, it has plagued churches like leprosy. And it is, it's destroying churches. It makes me sick. This repent of your sins thing. It has infiltrated Baptist churches and, and people are just repeating this over and over again. And this is a big deal. This is a salvation issue. Hey, this is not something that, you know, there are some things we can disagree on. And the theology without apology people, I don't even know who they are. I don't know any of these people personally. They probably wouldn't like a lot of what I teach. But you know what? They are right on this issue. And I hope they stick to their guns. They, because they're, you know, they're, you know, they got more of these people tweeting at them. Matthew Lyon said Peter was not preaching, uh, preaching gospel after the resurrection of Jesus. And you think that's stupid. Well, listen, according to dispensationalism, you know, the gospel didn't get, start getting preached until like Acts 8 or 9. I mean, once again, that's just pure stupidity right there. Jeff Douglas, Jesus commanded the apostles to preach repentance for the forgiveness of sins. So you're contradicting Jesus. I mean, uh, this is ridiculous. You know, William Hemsworth, how dare Jesus tell us to repent? Matthew 4, 17. Because Jesus said, for that time, Jesus began to preach and say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes, Jesus told us to repent, but what does repent mean? It's a change of mind. And who's he telling to repent? He is telling a bunch of Jews to repent. Well, what were the Jews trying to do to get to heaven? 
They were trying to repent of their sins. You know, they were trying to do the works. They thought they were good. And Jesus said, no, you're all you're sinners. We've all sinned and you all need to stop trusting in your works and you need to believe me. You need to believe my words. You need to accept the free gift of salvation by faith. That's what you need to do. And we got a lot of people today, they're already, they're already going after good works. They're walking after good works, trying to think if I'm good enough, I'm going to get to heaven and no, they need to repent of that. And they need to say, no, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm done going after good works and I'm going to follow Jesus Christ. I'm going to trust his word. I'm going to believe his word. I'm going to accept the free gift of salvation. But these people that teach you have to repent of their sins. Okay. I agree. Repentance is a, it's a 180 going another direction. But do you understand most people are already going after good works. And for you to say, repent of your sins, you're basically saying, just run faster in the wrong direction. That doesn't work. That is not what repentance is. Ducky D 13 says, dumbest thing I've read today. That's the dumbest person I've ever heard of right there. You know, Robert Wilson, repent therefore of this thy wickedness and pray God if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. Now, Baptists are known for this, just taking one verse out of context and making it mean whatever they mean. And if you take that story, it, it, it's not talking about salvation right there. Okay, We should repent of our sins. Okay, If you're sinning, you should stop sinning and quit doing that. You should repent of your sins, but nowhere in the Bible does it teach you to repent of your sins for salvation. And it was not telling him to do that so he would go to heaven. It's because what he was doing was wicked. It was wrong and he needed to repent of it. And if you're sinning, you need to repent of your sins, but that is not what saves because it is a work. And so this guy just, I mean, classic taken out of context, uh, you know, and then uh, KT at K KT in Hills says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Once again, he just doesn't know what repentance means. And then thankfully, finally, we get a breath of fresh air. Finally, one person comes along, you know, a pastor, Tim DeLello, and he says, repentance from dead works, not sins. And he references Hebrews 6, 1 through 2. That's what it means to repent. It's for repenting from dead works. In other words, these people thought that they were going to heaven because of their works of the law. And the Bible said they're dead works. And you need to repent of that and you need to have faith. That is what repentance is. Thankfully, somebody's got a brain. Thankfully, somebody's at least got the gospel right. And listen, theology without apology was right. And I hope they stick to their guns because I'm sick of these Baptist popes teaching this false doctrine and shoving it down people's throats and the political pressure. It is on to teach that you're supposed to repent of your sins to get saved. And it's a bunch of garbage. It's work salvation. It is not what the Bible teaches. It is about faith in Christ. 